Inside the brain, it's dark. It's a dark room like in the world of photography, in which negatives are processed every instant. There is no light inside. Instead, light enters through the retina of the eyes and is darkened to be interpreted within. Now, would you know that humans can only see 1% of the visible light spectrum? Which means we can only see 1% of what is going on around us. In other words, we are unable to see the vast 99% of the world we live in. Take a moment and absorb that. Mm -hmm. The majority of our existence is unseen. We don't see things as they are. We see things as we have the capacity to interpret them. To the level of our consciousness. In fact, as we are. The outer world and everyone in it is just a mirror of our inner world. We must understand that more often than not, the things we detest and judge about others, or an outer situation, are a reflection of the things we struggle to process about ourselves. So May has arrived. A new cycle has begun. Do you want to evolve and grow? If so, the next time you find yourself experiencing a charge when you encounter a situation or someone, ask yourself these questions to understand the purpose behind it and how it can help you evolve and grow. Number one, what is it about this situation or person that I strongly like or dislike? Number two, do I have any of those traits in my personality or the propensity to display those traits? Number three, have I ever done anything in my past that's similar to how they are showing up now? Number four, am I repressing any of those same qualities within myself? What can I do to bring them to the surface and work through them? Number five, what is this person or situation teaching me that I need to learn to become more whole? Yes, 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 we often fail to see ourselves. And so, let me share with you three tips for seeing. Number one, ask others what they see, especially those new in your life, and believe them. Number two, when things are stagnant, go with disruption. Number three, when things are chaotic, well, go with structure. You know, one of the most important lessons in life you should know is to remember to have an attitude of gratitude and humility. Because without it, how might you as a leader expand the way you see situations? When we remain curious and open, we'll see that every encounter that we have is orchestrated by a universal force that wants us to grow and evolve into the best version of ourselves. Want to know more? Well, join us at the next conference in Dakar on leadership and management through the science of tales of initiation. A whole world awaits to be rediscovered.